Lucas Media, we got some news coming out of boxing. Former world champion, superstar, iconic boxer, future Hall of Famer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao is potentially one to fight Mario Barrios after his upcoming exhibition that he has with former K-1 champion Rukaya Unpo. I know I probably butchered the name, but he got a three-round exhibition in Japan coming up on uh, July 28th. So that's what, a couple more days away. And after that, he potentially wants to fight Mario Barrios. Now, Manny Pacquiao's advisor, Shab Gibson, said, It's a 50-50 fight, but a very winnable fight for Manny. Barrios is a perfect fighter. He has the right style because there has to be, oh, he's there to be hit and he brings it. He wants to mix it up. Over the next month or so, we will either be able to make the fight or won't. It's very important to get a fight in by December. This has to be a very important time right now. We have a short window. This could be the last year Manny Pacquiao might run for office next year in the Philippines. Or this could be the last year, basically. It's the last because Manny Pacquiao might run for office. He was senator in his home country. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why Manny Pacquiao is trying to fight. I hope it's not for the money. The man's 45 years old. What else left could you have to prove? And I'm looking at Manny Pacquiao's record. He's only fought three times since 2019. Adrian Broner in January 2019. Keith Thurman in July 2019. I mean, in 2020. Then he fought uh, Ugas in uh, August of 2021. So it's been, it'd be three years coming up. So it's like, you know, and then he's 45. Like, what what else do you want? You'd have been world champion. You're, high, you're an icon. You got... You are one of the biggest, you are part of the biggest payday ever, the second highest paid fighter ever for a four payday. What else is there? And this is what is sad about these fighters is they don't know when to let it go. You got to walk away. Tank Davis, Durante D Davis claims he has a hit list coming out and then he's going to be out. Hopefully he stays out. But you see Floyd still doing these exhibitions. You still see Manny doing these exhibitions. And then you have haters in the comment section or people coming at me saying, oh, bro, man, oh, man, Bill Gates can make money. But yeah, Bill Gates ain't out there getting his brains bashed in. But I mean, you always see this with these fighters. Ali didn't walk away in time. Mike Tyson didn't walk away in time. Joe Frazier didn't walk away in time. Sugar Ray Leonard didn't walk away in time. Really, the only one who did was Marvin Hagler. After he lost to Sugar Ray Leonard, and he was like, man, F you, I'm not fighting no more. But the majority of fighters, they don't know when to stop. And I get it, they're competitive. And just like football and basketball, it's like at, at some point, man, you got to hang it up and let the next generation come in. Even Manny Pacquiao was trying to fight for the Olympics. Why? Why? If you're if you didn't want all the world titles, what the hell do a gold medal mean? You're supposed to have a gold medal as an amateur then build your career but once you get once you become world champion that stuff it don't mean nothing no more look at mike tyson mike tyson never won a gold medal but he's he was considered the baddest man on the planet but it's another day in boxing but i just want to make a quick video about it tell me what y'all think